All right, welcome back, Crime Fighters. It's another edition of Calhoun County's Most Wanted, the program where you get to help make Calhoun County a better and safer place by helping us lock up some more bad guys. I'm Chris Wright, along with Calhoun County Sheriff Matthew Wade. Good to see you, Sheriff. Hey, it's always good to be on the TV show, Chris. And, um, you know, this show is such a good thing, and so many people watch it. But uh, I do feel like today I need to, to do some. There's been some articles coming out in uh, the newspaper, AL.com, and some things, and I know we might have talked about this the other day, but I think I still need to reiterate the fact that 49 sheriffs across the state are being sued for feeding, for keeping money where they're feeding inmates. Mm -hmm. I know I've talked about this before, but I just want to feel like I need to reiterate. I'm not one of those 49 sheriffs being sued. We don't keep any money. It's bid through the county commission. And we, that's not you trying to separate yourself, say, hey, I'm not one of those guys. This is something that just completely has nothing to do with you. You're not part of the system. Calhoun County is not part of the system that, does that, that. has, and has we brought ha on this lawsuit. And we haven't done that in, I know, in over 25 years. So, it's, you know, Sheriff Emerson didn't do it. He wasn't part of it. It's just, it was a decision made. And regardless of what you may have seen, because I saw somebody on Facebook say, well, I know Sheriff Emerson did this. Like, it, no, no, he, no didn't. he didn't. <laughs> he did, and, and it, was, it was probably in 93 or so that they stopped doing that and the county commission takes on that burden. Um, you know, it is the cheapest way to do is the way that those 49 shares are doing it. And, and last month, it took $56,000 worth of food to feed our inmates. We have over 550 inmates. Now the state gave the county commission $1.75 back of that. So it's costing us $3.40 a day to feed an inmate, which is really good. I looked, did the math. It's less than I spend for, for lunch. my kids. Yeah, <laughs> for lunch. So, you know, I just want to make sure everybody understands we're feeding the inmates based on what a dietitian tells us to feed them. It's cost us a three forty a day, which is amazingly cheap. You can't do it for a dollar seventy five. You just can't do it. Yeah. So with that being said, you know, the county gets half of that three it gets a dollar seventy five of that three forty back. So it's costing the taxpayers in Calhoun County about three about twenty five thousand dollars a month to feed the inmates of our local tax money. Now the other tax money is still tax money. You know, everybody right. says, well that's still tax money, we still yeah. pay. So, you know, right now it's costing us $3.40 to, to feed an inmate a day and what we feel by a dietitian is being a nutritious, appropriate sized meal. And I'm not trying to separate myself from other shares. I just want people to know what it is that I do, Here what in I Calhoun stand County, for. Yes. This is not something that, uh, that that affects us locally. No, it affects and, the rest of the state, but or a lot of the rest of the state, know, but not us locally. And, there, and those shares aren't doing anything illegal. The law needs to the law needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. You know, I agree with that 100%, but they're not doing anything illegal. But, uh, it's, you know, it doesn't sit well with people. Right. And, and, and while I'm sheriff, I want people to know that I'd tell them the truth. If I was one of the sheriffs that were doing it, I would explain myself and, and, mm -hmm. and let people see what it is I'm doing. I just feel it's important when you're yeah. working for the people that you need to try to, when you can show them, you need to tell them. It's just like we had an incident at Weaver School and we were forthcoming with other information. So we want to be transparent. All right, let's be transparent about the help that we have received from the public this past week. Five arrests this week brings our count up to 4,132 people arrested because all of because somebody wanted to help us and be a part of what we do, and we got we can't do it without their help. So. Absolutely, and we're going to be asking for your help again here in just a couple of minutes. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have the first half of this week's lineup on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. All right, let's get started looking at the lineup for this week. See if you can recognize someone and give us some information about where they can be found. We start with Patricia Murray of Anniston, wanted on a failure to appear warrant for obstructing government operations. Shayla Connell of Anniston, also wanted on a failure to appear warrant for use and possession of drug paraphernalia, two counts. Randall Bunn of Oxford, wanted for failure to pay for arson, second degree. Marshall Spates of Aniston, wanted on a failure to appear warrant for possession of marijuana, second degree, and use and possession of drug paraphernalia. Joshua Sullivan of Talladega, wanted for failure to appear for theft of property, fourth degree, and use and possession of drug paraphernalia. Jamie Simmons of Aniston, wanted on a failure to appear warrant for possession of a controlled substance and use and possession of drug paraphernalia. Wanda Moore of Atala wanted on a probation violation for possession of a controlled substance. 
That's the first half of this week's lineup. If you've got any information about these cases, please call Calhoun County Crime Stoppers at 256-238-1414. All right, we'll have some more bad guys for you here in just a few minutes. But right now we want to welcome Brianna Buckner onto the show. She is the public affairs coordinator for the Calhoun County Chamber of Commerce. Good to see you, Brianna. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, so, so you've got a very important job because we got over 100,000 people in Calhoun County and we have opinions. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your job to take those opinions at least from the members of the Chamber of Commerce which is a lot of people we've got a very big very active oh, yeah, chamber absolutely. and relate those opinions and needs and desires to the folks in Montgomery and Washington that's a big job it is um, you know the good thing about uh, the chamber though is that we are the voice of business and whether that's big business or small business we are still united um, mm -hmm. you know we're a unified group um, of, of individuals who want good things to happen on behalf of Calhoun County. And so, um, you know, having those things in common, um, I think far overrides all the things that are, we don't have in common. Um, and so the way that the chamber operates is we come up with a legislative agenda um, at the beginning of the year and we are operated through a public affairs committee. And so um, the public affairs committee, we choose what um, different topics that will, or different areas that we will um, advocate for that year. And then after we come up with these areas, then we start getting uh, hitting the ground running, trying to um, be that voice for the business and the community. Yeah, and, and I'm glad you mentioned and the community because mm -hmm. it's not just businesses. The Sheriff's Office plays a big role in the Chamber of Commerce. We are. We're a member of the Chamber of Commerce. We believe in leadership Calhoun County and um, once again, when you know, if you're an elected official, the sheriff's office, while we're not a business, we are a service business in the sense that we serve these businesses and serve the community, and we want to make sure that businesses can come here and feel safe. So. Yeah. It's really for everybody who does business in Calhoun County, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. And that's Absolutely. all of us, I think. There may be somebody out there, but if they don't do business in Calhoun oh, County, yeah. they're not watching us on TV. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But um, I found it to be very rewarding. Um, just recently, we've had a lot of opportunities um, for the individuals in Calhoun County to come and meet their legislators. And this was the first time that that has been done, and um, they told me several years. And they just found it absolutely, you know, tremendously <laughs> valuable <laughs> to come and meet their legislators face to face and ask them some of those pressing questions that they want to know. And so, okay, so what are some of those questions? What are the things that Calhoun County needs from its legislators? Um, as far as the chamber's position, we work on behalf of small businesses. That's one of the biggest things that. Um, we are passionate about. And right this year, infrastructure is also another um, depressing I, issue that I we see need that we've to. got this road that they're trying to connect the industrial part of McClellan to Highway 21, and yes. we need more money for that. Oh yeah, absolutely. And so that's what our office is doing. Um, and that's what our chamber members were working on behalf of working with those legislators and making Calhoun County a better place. All right. so. What are, what are some goals that we have for Calhoun County that you're working on? Um, right now, I think the biggest goal this year um, is to start, because I've, I've only been there about uh, two months now, mm -hmm. <laughs> the biggest thing is to start um, advocating and educating our members. Um, you know, educating the community on what it is that we stand for, um, what it is that we're doing at the chamber, uh, because a lot of people don't know that we're doing so many things. And it's very important that they do know. And so right now it's just educating them on who we are, who we stand for, um, what we stand for, and just making sure that they know that it's an open door policy to come to the chamber and advocate those views to us. And that's what we're doing here today. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So uh, trying to educate folks and let them know. But th there really are a lot of opportunities to not just see it on television, but mm -hmm. see it in person. The Calhoun County Chamber is a very active, very public Absolutely. chamber. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what are some of the opportunities that people have to, to touch the chamber and actually see what's going on? So um, 
just from the, the local, we have our local elections coming up and there are so many opportunities within the next couple of months um, that members and um, community members can come out and see what it is that our local officials stand for. Um, we're having public forums for our county commissioners, the Board of Education. Um, we're having some for our local judges and for our state representatives. And this will be opportunities that they'll have to come to ask questions, submit questions through our email, um, and you know, figure out what it is that we, we as Calhoun County want in an elected official. All right. Well, we need to take a quick break, but we got some more things we need to discuss. So okay. we will be right back. We'll have the second half of this week's lineup and more about the Calhoun County Chamber and uh, what we're doing when we come back on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. All right, here we go with the second half of this week's lineup on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. If you see anyone you recognize and have information about where they can be found, please call Calhoun County Crime Stoppers. Michael Whitehead of Aniston wanted on a probation violation for possession of a controlled substance. Tina Mosley of Ohatchee wanted for failure to appear for possession of a controlled substance, use and possession of drug paraphernalia, and illegal possession of prescription drugs. Charmaine Davis of Ohatchee wanted on a failure to appear warrant for theft of property, fourth degree. Trey Garland of Thomasville, Georgia wanted on a failure to appear warrant for possession of marijuana, first degree. Paris Marshall of Gadsden, probation violation for first degree robbery. And Adarius Savage of Birmingham wanted on a probation violation for second degree theft of property. Again, if you have any information, please call Crime Stoppers. We want your information, not your name, and you could get a cash reward of up to $1,000. All right, we'll have some more uh, crime fighting opportunities for you here in just a minute. Uh, just a few minutes, we'll have the Crime Stoppers segment of the show, and we'll talk about our crazy criminal of the week. But right now, Brianna Buckner is with us from the Calhoun County Chamber of Commerce, our legislative liaison, I guess. <laughs> and uh, so you've only been with the Calhoun County Chamber for, what, two or three months now? Yes, yes. So what's your background? How did you, how did you come to this position? So um, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Um, and I actually got recruited to play basketball at JSU. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I played basketball. I'm retired now. <laughs> retired <laughs> from the athletics, but um, I played basketball and now I'm finishing up my master's at JSU. Oh, and so, um, so what position did you play? I played shooting guard. Shooting guard. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, and I don't know a lot about basketball, but I love watching it because it's got so much action to it. So that's the same thing as point guard. No. We are allowed because I don't know. So, no. So, so tell me. It's, it's, I mean, we're all short. Just <laughs> but let him think it's okay. Yeah. Just, just go yeah. With it. It, My son started playing position. basketball this year, so I'm I'm trying to learn. Aww. You know, I'm trying to learn what you know one and one. You know, you know, I said, why, why are they doing that? Now I do know what it means to get a technical. I didn't personally get it, but I saw somebody <laughs> who did. So, but. Uh, <laughs> But you know, basketball is such a, a fun sport to watch, and, and JSU has such a great uh, uh, ladies team. I mean, they're, they're, yes. they're just awesome. Yes, so. I've, I really, it really became a family. Um, you guys do everything together. You mm -hmm. eat, sleep, travel, mm -hmm. sweat. I understand. <laughs> they've built so. some nice facilities up there, and then that's a big part of what is helping the chamber do its job as Jacksonville mm -hmm. State University. Absolutely. And the, the things that they've got going on there. Absolutely, and um, you know, I I absolutely love JSU. Um, they partner a lot with the chamber, um, with with our upcoming public forums. They're partnering, and they give a lot of opportunities for students to have hands-on experience in the field that they want to go that's into. How I got and so mm -hmm. that's absolutely necessary, um, and I just really, it's really an an admirable feature of JSU. Yeah. So. I graduated from there. My wife works there, so you know, we're, we're all JSU people here. Yay. Have you got your bracket filled out yet? No, not yet. No. <laughs> I always lose. I don't know what it is. <laughs> March Madness. See, I want to do that, but I don't know how to do it. So I'm like, <laughs> but see, you could probably win. What my experience, the people who know the least do the best. about yes. basketball pick the best brackets. They do. Uh, they do. So <laughs> I have not done it yet. <laughs> but again, getting back to the Chamber of Commerce, we we really are lucky in Calhoun County. I say lucky. It's the result of a lot of hard work mm. from some very dedicated people. But we Absolutely. have one of the largest chambers that you're going to find in Alabama 
the number the membership that we have is is very large mm -hmm. and that means that you are able to speak with a bigger voice when you're talking to these legislators yeah um you know honestly it, it really is a, a true honor um and i think the biggest thing that makes calhoun county chamber so unique is that they want to hear those voices um, you know, you have a lot of um, organizations who they listen to a very small percentage of who actually impacts mm -hmm. um, the chamber. But with us, I think hearing all the voices and inviting that diversity into what we do, um, I think that it's necessary. We, we learned a lesson, I think. And, and I'm, I'm going to say I'm too young to really know how much it affected us back <laughs> in the day. But we were very dependent on Fort McClellan. Okay. And we're still very dependent on the Aniston Army Depot, but our community knows that you know, we've got to pay attention to all the segments, mm -hmm. or if we put all our eggs in this basket, it can go away. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I think that when you have um, that those diverse voices, it's more a more comprehensive picture of who we are, um, because we aren't just the small voices, we're everyone. And so I think the Chamber does a very good job of addressing that and um, making sure that we do have that compromise when we are going forth um, and representing Calhoun County as a chamber to you know, our the, legislators. The, the chamber is an organization where its members pays its dues. It's only gonna be as good as the members want it to be. And all of these people that are members need to get involved. Um, they have uh, the, the morning session, I think it's, uh, it's biscuits and breakfast. Uh, business and biscuits. <laughs> business and biscuits in the morning that, that you go to. Then you have the uh, after hours, after work they have once a month. And there's lunch and leads. L lunch yeah. and leads, you know. <laughs> so they do a lot of things where you can go out and meet other people in the community and, and that's how we get better and it's how we get stronger is uh, to work together. So the, the chamber is a good facilitator of that, bringing people together and giving them the opportunity to uh, get to know not only their public officials but other business people in the community uh, where you never know where something might happen where uh, uh, a development might come out mm -hmm. of it. So. Absolutely. Making those connections, working together. And we actually have um, had opportunities where that's happened. We've hosted mayor roundtables um, just recently that brings in all of our mayors from Calhoun County and there's a lot of productive things that come out of those meetings and so I think Absolutely. it's very good. Well, if somebody wants to talk to the, the chamber about getting more involved or saying this is something that I want you to think about when you're talking to the legislators, mm -hmm. how should they get in contact? Um, so I'm there, <laughs> I'm <laughs> at the chamber. <laughs> you can call me, you can stop by any way um, that you find comfortable to get in contact with me. I'm always open ears. Of course, being a member of the chamber is a, a very positive thing with uh, <laughs> making that voice heard. Uh, Brianna, thank you for being here. Right. And uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the Crime Stopper segment of the show and our Crazy Criminal of the Week on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. <laughs> and it's time for the Crime Stoppers segment of the show. We'll talk about some property crimes that hopefully you can help us solve. Between February 20th and March 5th, two feeders and a tree stand were stolen from property on Highway 21 North. On March 6th, Ohatchee High School was broken into. Currency and an 800 megahertz radio, or actually multiple 800 megahertz radios were taken. Between March 4th and 5th, a tree stand was stolen from a location on Old Piedmont Gadsden Highway. March 4th, a vehicle was broken into. This happened on Dove Lane in Anniston. Currency was stolen from the vehicle. March 7th, a black male walked into a local business on Highway 431 and stole six cases of beer. He was seen driving a silver Buick LeSabre. Between March 3rd and 9th, a red Yamaha ATV was stolen from a residence on Goodbridge Road in Ohatchee. Between March 4th and 10th, a residence on Iron City Road was burglarized. A Maytag dryer and Kenmore washer were stolen. And on March 11th, a church on Iron City Road was burglarized. There was damage done to the door and also a pair of prescription glasses and a bag of peppermints were stolen. Do you have any information about any of these cases or others? If so, please call Calhoun County Crime Stoppers at 256-238-1414. Stop it! 
Y'all so stupid! All right, Sheriff, our crazy criminal this week is uh, Jonathan Rivera. And uh, he showed up in uh, court the other day to face charges of um, stealing a vehicle, what, what motor vehicle theft, I guess. Yeah, theft of property first. Yeah. In Alabama, that's what it would be. Yeah. Um, he arrived in a stolen vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> we appreciate that. You know, whoever's vehicle that was, I'm sure they appreciate them dropping it back off at the courthouse. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. You do occasionally uh, take a look at the, the plates out there in the parking lot and such. You know. <laughs> somebody was doing their job. Anyway. Somebody was doing their job that day. What's, <laughs> what's amazing is he felt he could do that and not get caught. So, yeah. you know. So, mm, mm. Bad decision after bad decision. Uh, folks, we all make bad decisions. The, the key is, Sheriff, correct me if I'm wrong, after you make a bad decision, follow it with a good decision. Yeah, and don't make the same bad decision twice. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. You know, sounds like he uh, is into stealing cars, so. Yeah. And apparently not as good at it as he thinks he is. He's not as, <laughs> not as, good, as not as good as hiding them after he steals them. It sounds like he's able to, to steal them, but. Uh, it, yeah, it just amazes me what some people will do and what they'll risk their future for. We just had in the, uh, the Crime Stoppers segment a, a gentleman who was caught on camera stealing six cases of beer. Now, how much is your life going to improve because of those six cases of beer? You know, is it worth it? And it's addiction. You know, mm. I've tried giving up Diet Cokes, and, and it's, it's, it calls my... you haven't stolen them. I haven't stolen them, no. <laughs> but I can see, you know, addiction's a tough, terrible thing, and mm -hmm. that's probably, probably part of his issue. So. Probably part of it, yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's all the time that we have for this week. We thank you for yours, and we'll be looking for you again next week, but hopefully not in the lineup on Calhoun County's Most Wanted.